Welcome to another episode of Motorcade Clash, where Ducati NYC and myself comparing our gear. This episode will be about adventure pants. Uh, we alternate between our both channels. The previous video is on Ducati NYC channel, uh, link will be below. But today's topic, what we have on the table. Adventure pants. I'll be honest, I don't wear these pants very often because I like to wear jeans. Like I like to complete my hipster look, but I do have a pair of adventure pants. Adventure pants for me are pants that you can take if you want to go on an adventure, right? <laughs> that you can wear in all conditions. Yeah. If it's snow, if it's rain, is it the sun uh, in the desert? And this are for me adventure pants. Um, and another thing about, about adventure pants that I think is very important is comfort. That's why they have all these features like vents and they fit a little bit different than say riding jeans. Comfort and protection is also very important on the adventure pants because you are more than likely dealing with elements and riding through weird conditions. Tell me what, what pants are these? These are Dainese, 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 I don't know. Dainese. These are Dainese Air Drake adventure pants. I got these on Revzilla for $260 about four years ago before my cross country ride because I thought that I need a, a pair of adventure pants to go far before I realized you can go far in jeans. But these attracted my attention because they have a couple of features. They are have some protective qualities. They have knee pads and hip protection, but this they so also have uh, these uh, knee vents, which basically when you're riding and it's really hot, you can literally unzip the knees and pin Ooh. them back like that. And this right here, like literally blows air into your crotch. Whether you're a girl or a boy, like that, when you're sitting down, this airflow is incredible. It literally <laughs> is incredible. And also it has like zippers for the, for the boots or whatnot down here. I don't know how the zippers work, so I'll just leave it alone. Yeah, pockets. It also has straps over here and you can zip it to your jacket. Dainese is usually very expensive, so these are definitely like your entry-level adventure pants. Yeah, now in Dainese, like $250, you're getting one glove. Right, and I need to use uh, these more often, because these would be actually really cool pants if I'm going camping or something, because once you get to the campsite, you can have shorts underneath, and you just peel these off. Why are you not wearing them? That's what we're talking about being a hipster. Like, I love my leather boots, I like my fucking hipster jeans, and my leather jacket or whatever, you know? And these... But the older I get, the more and more I realize that this is the way to go. The way to go is a one-piece adventure suit. Yeah. I hear you. But tell me more about your pants. What what are they? These are Klim Badlands. They go by $700. Mm -hmm. This is So this is like some premium stuff. This is the top of the top what you can get on the market. In the previous episode we discussed rain gear. Uh, that we both hate rain gear and we hate uh, that situation that we have to stop when it starts to rain yep. and uh, put on all the fucking rain gear. Yep. When you put on the rain gears, it's not going to rain and then you're, <laughs> yeah. and you're all sweaty and, and wet and yeah, uncomfortable. Not breathable. And the reason for me was I want one pants that I can uh, wear in all conditions so I don't have to think about bringing my rain gear. Uh, it's the gear proper for hot or for, for cold weather. I do need to say they, they work. I was wearing these pants in, on a trip in Palm Spring. We have different weather conditions. So we went up the mountains. Yeah. We went up to 6,000, 7,000 feet. And it was snowing, like rainy snowing. And yeah. close to 30 degrees. So it was almost sketchy, like yeah. to ride. I was dry. I wasn't freezing. I have to say I had like a long johns below. Right. Yeah. But I wasn't freezing and everything stayed dry. Also, I don't didn't have to concern about all my uh, stuff that I have in my, my pants because also like the zippers you see there. Yeah, they're waterproof. They're, they're waterproof as well. So I have here my, my phone yeah. and my, my GoPro. And so th do these have like protection on them as well? So they have uh, hip protection. Yeah. Here, D30, D D3, D3O, yeah, D30. Then they have knee protection, and the nice thing about the knee protection yeah. is it's adjustable. 
My previous adventure pants, it was that they were never in the right place. The protection, yeah. you know, them. sometimes they are too low. That's and, kind of the issue with these. Yeah. Well, the idea is for them to be in the right place when you come off the bike. True. So when you're sitting on the bike, they may not necessarily be in the right place, but these just feel crazy all the time. Yeah. One downside on the pants, they go very wide. It's not like a skinny fit. Right. This is like a touring adventure right. um, pants that right. just went more This is like wide. utility pants. Like you're wearing them because you're trying to accomplish something more, yeah. you know, as it's opposed to like purpose. looking it's not, cool. <laughs> it's not like I wouldn't ride them here in, yeah. in Brooklyn around And you town. got vents as well, right? Vents, but before we go to the vents, there's another protection that is uh, oh, the tailbone, tailbone protection. Oh, wow. And this is actually pretty comfortable you sit on it right you know if you're s sitting for hours on the yeah, motorcycle yeah. that <laughs> <it's not laughs> for lack of a better way to say it your ass hurts <laughs> <laughs> and i found that pretty comfortable you have the vans in the front both sides you have them here and you have them on the back and here and this is like leather what is this for this leather yep for like if your exhaust you, or something? If you're wearing your boot, that you have right. more grip, grip. that's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, wow, Not crazy. really sure if that works. Yeah. But if you see motocross pants, they usually have this layer as well on the side. The pockets are not in a position where usually your pockets are. They're a little bit lower and they're going right. to the side. I think it's a safety reason as well. You remember when you crash right, right, right. and yes. this uh, So that spot. way when you're sliding down the road, the stuff is like going past you as opposed to... Yeah, this yeah, on the side. Sense. And they are very close to each other. You need to remember that right. the right one is for the vent and the left one is actually your pocket. But can't you use these for pockets as well or no? Oh, no, 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 you can't. No, no you can't. Never it's mind. like you're, no. all, you're yeah. in, in the pants <laughs> right now. That's where you put your shotgun. Yeah. But, but, but otherwise, great pants. Great, great pants. We went, like I said, we went through the mountains 30 degrees and two hours later we were in the desert and then it wasn't too warm as well maybe yeah. in the 70s but it was sunny yeah um and i wasn't like sweating like hell yeah. so this but yeah i also noticed that you don't have this these nifty little knee knee vents for here but i guess this does a similar job because yeah. it kind of like blows into your balls as well. That's the most important part for you. No, no, for me, no, I'm serious. Because the thing is, when I was, because I had the similar thing, because when I rode cross country, we went to uh, Yellow, Yellow Stone Park or whatever. And it was the same thing. It was like 30 degrees. But then we'd be in Utah and it was literally 100 degrees. Yeah. And you're just yeah. boiling. So like these made a huge difference. But it's kind of funny that I wore jeans my second cross country trip. Because I want it to look cool, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't care about nice. being cool. I just want to look cool. We're getting older. I'm pretty yeah. sure in, in 10 years. I see pictures of me with that. And I have the jacket as well. Yeah. I'm looking like really like a touring guy. Right. Uh, touring right. Well, you were also like, riding a GS1200 <laughs> yeah. on top of it. So yeah. like it's like... You're not hitting on chicks like yeah. <laughs> with this outfit. Well, yeah, no, you're on a mission. You're like a fucking... You're an adventure man, you know? Adventure you're in survival mode. Yeah, exactly. You know? So it's like you're doing it for yourself. Now, after I, we just did this episode, I actually want to start riding these pants more. Like now that I look at them and I'm just like, why don't I ride in these pants? Well, there's only one way for us to determine which pants are cooler. Rock, paper, scissor. You count in Russian, I count in German. That's right. Because other, otherwise we can argue about these pants forever. You got you to gotta put your pants away. Because right now your pants are dominating the desk. And that's how you threw me off last oh, time. Oh, they, they no, are. No, because your gloves were all over the place. Oh, this is how you do this last time? Yeah. Like that. Put them aside like that. All right. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yep. You're going to lose this again. No, no. I you will. No, you ready? I'm three. I'm three. Oh, damn it. And after all that, after all this technology and price and value, <laughs> your basic ass Dainese Air Drake pants are the winners. Uh, this episode is on my channel. So we alternate the gear comparison. The next video you will find on Ducati NYC's channel and you find the link below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. Am I recording? Yes, you are. All right. One, two.